Okay guys, we're going to go over how to change a improper fraction to a mixed number. So, I've got my fraction, 23 over 5. Now I know it's an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. The easiest way for me to go through this is do some quick division, and that will help me change it from an improper fraction to a mixed number. So I want to do 23 divided by 5. So 23, I'll divide by 5. 5 can't go into 2, so I want to think how many times can I take 5 out of 23? And if I'm counting by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, oh, five groups of five, which would be 25, is too far. So I'll go back to four groups of 25. And sometimes I put a little X right there to remind me, once I've gotten my number of groups, I multiply by five. Four times five gives me 20. And then I'll subtract 23 minus 20 gives me three left over. Now in the past, when we've stopped there, we've written this as a four R three. Writing it as a fraction is really similar. All that I do is I'm gonna take this three and I'm gonna make it the numerator, so the top part of my fraction, the three right there. And then my denominator stays the same as it was, a five. So 4 and 3 fifths would be equal to my 23 fifths. We can do a quick check on this to make sure. My check would be doing 5 times 4. So 5 times 4 would give me 20. So 4 holes would be equal to 20 fifths plus my 3 fifths there gives me 23 fifths. That's back to the same. So my mixed number that I'm looking for is 4 and 3 fifths. Let's look at one more. And it's nice, these are so easy that you can do them even on a post-it note. So a little bit bigger numerator there, 76 over 3. I'm going to take my 76 and I want to divide that by 3. First, I'll say how many groups of 3 can I take out of 7. And hopefully you said 2 groups of 3. Next, I multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Depending on how you multiply or how you do your division, you're either bringing down the 6 or bringing up the 1 next to the 6. Either way, I end up with 16, and I'm going to ask, how many groups of 3 can I take out of 16? Now remember, I've still got, I've got 16, so if I were to put 16 over 3, it would still be an improper fraction with a, with a whole number next to it. I want to get as many out as I can. So, I think 3 times... 1 is 3, times 2 is 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Oh, when I did 6 groups of 3, that went over, so I'm going to stop at 5. Then 5 times 3 is 15. 16 minus 15 is 1. And remember, instead of writing R1 as a remainder 1, I'm going to take and put that 1 as the numerator, and my denominator stays the same. So my mixed number, 25 and 1 third. Okay, now we can have a big uh, whole number like that because we had such a big numerator. So that's a lot of groups of 3 that I'm able to pull out. Hopefully this helps. Remember on that lesson 2 page, you're still going to want to, on the back side of it, you should be taking and changing your answers from the improper fractions 
to the mixed numbers.